Good evening. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Thank My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusa Crafts. I'm just going to sort that camera out a little bit. It's a little bit too high. There we go. I think we're yes. on. Thank you for joining us. Say hi uh, when you pop in and let us know where you're from so we know who's there as well. Don't forget to um, subscribe if you haven't done so. We put out a couple of videos per week with car making tutorials. And yes, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this uh, video. That doesn't work that way. It works that better that way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. All right, so yes, so as the description says, we're gonna be using the um, Using Up Designer Series paper again this evening. And it's going to be the best dressed designer series paper, one which Lovely. has been in our stash for a while. Yeah, but we had an extra pack, didn't we? Did we? Yeah, we ordered one. Did we order two, did we? Have oh, we actually used a packet yeah. of paper? Wow. I think so. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining. Um, so, yes, so, um, so, yes, we're going to be using up the designer series papers. We've been focusing on that throughout the week, actually. So, you may have caught us on Wednesday or Thursday this week. We did two videos over on our Facebook channel. They have been uploaded over to here to YouTube as well. Um, so, if you, have, if you missed that, you can catch them again. But we were using designer series paper and doing a double wonder um, um, technique. Um, this is one of the cards which you didn't see on camera. So this is what Jay made out of some of my scraps which I left over from the stripe card. So I had that and that was what I was left over with so we were able to get another card. I didn't want to bend them so I was like I'm gonna use them. So th the Barry did this the strip card and cut off the excess so I used it on those and just created um it looks like a curtain fold yeah, card. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. Yeah. So that was the offcuts of those there. So we're just going to quickly just show you these with our designer series paper. So that was one which we did. So that was one which Jay did. That was one which Jay did. The next two are mine. Jay, another one there which is a nice one which has got the fold in the center. Yeah, so there. some simple um, card layouts and uh, PDF or uh, cut lines and things like that, you can download from our blog, mitosocrafts.com. Uh, it's, it's in the Google Docs, so you, you'll be able to view it and download it, download a copy yourself, and it's got all of the cut lines as well as the measurements in metric. Uh, I did do one for Imperial, but it'll be for UK uh, A4 sizes, because I know that uh, Shannon West and Julie Davison has done Imperial for the US, so, uh, check their blog uh, and website out. So yeah, so there we go. So that was using how many sheets of paper? One sheet or two, two six by 12s? Yeah, two six by 12. So, but yeah, or one 12 by 12 if you want to use the reverse of it, or two six by 12s if you like the pattern paper on two separate pieces of um, paper. So that's, um, yeah, that's good. We still have so many DSPs. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So I'm going to be making lots and lots of cards using that designer series paper. Um, lots and lots, but lots tonight. And lots. Not tonight. Okay. But Just lots and lots. And <laughs> yes, I so... need to. I need to. I need to work out a way of how to um, how to send them to people because obviously we you, we make more than we can ever send to anyone. Um, so we need to send them out, or we need to. If anyone knows of any organisations or charities that could easily send them to. Um, in the UK, obviously, um, then maybe give, give us a message because uh, we're open to ideas. Yes. So good, lovely. So who have we got? Hi, Beauty and the Stamper. Hello, Rose. Rose. Sandra, Marlene and Carol. Thank you so much. Yes, so good. So yeah, so please pop on, say, pop, pop a comment down there. Let us know who you are, where you're from. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned until at the end, I will show you a sneak peek of the cards that I was creating th today for the stamp review crew blog hop using painted poppies. So I, I have been using my blends. So um, I'll, yeah, stay tuned. Gonna show, gonna show that at the end, are you? Yes. I'm also gonna show you a little bit of uh, what we plan to do on Wednesday's video as well. So stay tuned right to the end to be able to see what's coming up later on as well. Cool. All right, so we yeah. shall we flick you around yeah. and... Not me, the <laughs> Right, let's bring this down. I think we are set. Good. All right. Ooh. So, all right, let me grab my my goodies. I'm organised-ish. 
<laughs> you said that last time. I did say that last time. So, right, so I'm going to grab out my stash of goodies, which I want to use. So I've got my, my good old trusty trimmer. Me, um, I've got my Simply Chamois. So this is perfect for cleaning the stamps once I've done my, my inking. I've got myself some mini dimensionals, which will be used tonight as well. The good old Memento ink pad and my basics here. So I've got some glue, my Tombow glue, my snips and some other glue there. A block. The colours which we're going to be using tonight as well is going to be Mint Macaron, Lovely Lipstick and Pretty Peacock. So they're the colours which I'm going to be using. And like we mentioned as well, we're going to be using the Best Dressed Designer Series paper here. And the reason I've chosen these colours is because, surprisingly, on the packet here you've got the recipe of colours. And these colours, Pretty Peacock, Lovely Lipstick and Mint Macaron all coordinate with this designer series paper. So we've mentioned it before, I'm gonna mention it again. If you're if you're looking for ideas on what colors go with what, and you're unfamiliar with this, or you're stuck, grab out your papers, um, look at this, and then choose the colors which you've got and the cardstock which then coordinate with it. Because I'm also gonna be using Purple Posy cardstock on one of the cards. So we know that everything coordinates quite well with it. So. If you're stuck for ideas and for colour coordination, that's where you go, that's where you want to turn to. All right, so pop those to one side. And the two stamp sets and items which we're going to be using, as we mentioned, we're going to be using the um, Dress to Impress, is it Dress to, no, it's the Best Dressed stamp set, isn't it? Now I'm going to own up a little bit. We made a mistake and we purchased this one in French and not in English. So if you're wondering why we put it there, but we decided to keep it because um, we, we still the images are still fine and work well with the dies, and we do actually have some French customers. So dressed this is to dressed to impress. So we do actually have some French customers. So these will poss possibly be winging their way over have, to you yeah, at some point, and as, well. um, as well, which is why we we uh, we brought it and we didn't bother sending it back and returning it because. It was our mistake, and um, but we can use it. And the um, all the images still coordinate well with the all dressed up dies because the images and everything on here are absolutely fine. So they're not language specific. So if you're wondering why I've got it in French, then there's a little bit of behind that one there. And we're also going to be using the family party um, stamp set as well. This is again becoming one which I'm turning to an awful lot actually because the sentiments are a nice size to fit on a lot of cards. You can make up your own things so happy birthday obviously being the most common one but you can go to a wonderful wife, to a wonderful husband, to a wonderful brother, sister. So whoever, um, you've got your numbers down here as well which is great. So this is fast becoming um, one which I'm really enjoying playing with at the moment. So family party, dressed to impress, a dress to impress and all dressed up dies. Now this is this is continuing over into the new catalogue come June, but it is go it won't be continuing over it as a bundle. So if you like the obviously the, the English version, French or German version of this stamp set, and you want to get it to, which coordinates with the dies, buy it before the end of June. But sorry, before buy it before the end of May. Um and you'll be able to save yourself 10% on these two stamp sets and the, the stamp set and these dies if you buy them together. So they are carrying over to the new catalog, but they will be individually priced and you won't save yourself 10%. So if you like them, grab them now before they go up in price. So there we go. Right, let's crack on. Let's grab my bits here. So I'm going to take my example. Should I show you what I'm going to do? Um, did we say we were going to do that, Jack? I can't remember what we said. Is it for you? Um, let's grab some bits. So I'm going, to, I'm going to show you. This is my prototype. So this is what I've done already. Um, this is what I'm going to show you how to do right now as well. And I am going to do something slightly different with the, with the next card coming up. So it's going to be... Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to add another step to it just to show you. So that's what we, get, that's what we are aiming to create on one of the cards. So I'm gonna grab myself some Whisper White Thick. I've already got a bit of paper here which is already cut down to size. Um, 
But I will just talk you through how I got to this, because I may need to trim a little bit off. So grab your paper trimmer, and we cut ours at 14 and a half, so I do need to take a little bit off. So 14 and a half centimetres. And then I score it at 10 and a half centimetres to create my base card. Can I have the bone cord, please, Joe? There you go. There's, all, there's always one thing which I forget, which is why it's always handy to have Jay here. Or vice versa. He's now just chucking everything at me, which means I know he's going to ask that for me in a moment. So everything's just getting passed and bundled cool. at me. <laughs> <laughs> so there's my card base. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my designer series paper. So the paper which I used, obviously this is lovely paper. So that's the that's the offcut of one of the pieces which I used earlier on, and the back side of it is is that one there. Hi Julie. So you've got some lovely papers. So go through these. They're very florally. Obviously you've got your shoes, your pretty pants. So they're really really nice just to make some real simple cards and just put a few sentiments and a few embellishments over the top of it, some really subtle ones, and you'll be really, really nice, some really good flowery ones. On the back side of them, you've got more, obviously that one's a nice one as well, but you've got some other ones which are more in keeping with the actual stamp set. So you've got your lipsticks and you've got your makeup, you see you've got them in your colors there, more flowers on that one. So your shoes so if you've got any girls in the family any ladies in the family that like their shoes which i'm sure a lot of you do but it's perfect for those all right so you can see but i tend to like more of the floral side on this or even this one here um even this one here i think can be suitable for a man um potentially because it is male it's manly colors um yeah i like that so, and I like these stripes. So I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with disc paper this time here. I haven't tried it. So we're going to use a different bit of paper. And we're going to see how it goes. Mm, yeah, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to stick with it. All right, so my because my card base here was 14 and a half by 10 and a half i'm going to cut this down to half a centimeter smaller so i'm going to cut this down to 10 and i want my stripes to go upright by 14. so that's half a centimeter lower than the actual card base okay so that gives us a nice even border all the way around the card here all right so i think for the moment i am actually done with the trimmer so that can go to one side and these bits as well if you want to these you can you can cut this down we can make a nice little strip to go on the inside to obviously decorate that up as well if we wanted to so that's good i am also gonna now do some stamping am i fine with that yeah i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna glue the designer series paper to the card base to start off with just so that's done because i've got nothing wrapped around this at all today but if you've got bits which need to be like ribbons twine which need to be wrapped behind the paper then we, i wouldn't stick this down initially to start off with um but i'm gonna just keep it as it is set so that can go to one side for the time being i'm now going to grab my stamp set and i'm going to take myself some whisper white cardstock and i'm going to get the perfume bottle. I will also grab the two lots of flowers here as well. 
and the stamp I'm going to make up, the actual sentiment I'm going to make up from the family party stamp set. So if I just grab my block, grab my chamois, because I will need that in a moment. Grab some memento. So who have we got here? So, um, Rose, Germany, Carol, Canada, um, Arizona, Netherlands. Oh, we're everywhere today. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate every one of you joining us. So I'm just going to clean that up. Anyone who watches us knows that I've got to clean it as I go and put away as I go. Hint, hint, hint. Looking, uh, giving, just, Jay, giving Jay the evil eye there. Just push it out. <laughs> yeah, well, I was crafting this afternoon. Crafting this afternoon. I just thought I'm going to go next door and just have a watch TV out here. He was on one little space on the table in on the, the corner computer, on the computer table. Come back after watching what I needed to watch. It's spread out across the entire living room. Has he just um has he just gone and destroyed everything? Our cat has just jumped up on our um, big unit and I think has left a path of destruction in his wake. <laughs> There we go, so that's that. So the other bits I'm gonna use on this is gonna be the squiggly bit here. I would also be using these bits here as well. So just gonna talk through the stamp set here quickly. This bit here coordinates nicely inside the perfume bottle. This bit here coordinates nicely with these two large sets, um, flowers here. And this one coordinates nicely with that one right there so and that one works with a lipstick so you can add some artistic look to it without having to color it in perfectly um, so what you can do is I'm gonna try it in at the I'm gonna ever so slightly do, do slightly do you need, uh... can I have a bit to stamp off please yeah. Lovely lipstick is quite a strong colour on its own um, and I don't want it to be too overpowering so I've just stamped off and I'm just going to stamp oh, the... Tommy. <laughs> he doesn't tip everything off. He's been a right nuisance today. Tommy has been a real nuisance. So it just adds... It's just taking it down, taking the, the red, the lovely lipstick down a shade. So on the original card, I did it with the mint macaron in the middle. Um, but this time I've done it with the lovely lipstick. And I'm going to wink a, wink a Stella. And what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the wink of Stella here. We're just going to use the... Bit, and I'm just going to then colour in the top part of this. That's quite a juicy one. I'm going to. There's one which is juicier than the other, and that's yeah, better. And this is just going to add some real nice glitter to the top as well so if you haven't got a wink of brush I would highly recommend you get yourself one liquid glitter and obviously you can just color it use it for coloring over 
anything you have. So if I, without picking up any color, I can color over the whole thing and it would just add a clear glitter to it. But if you wanted to, like I've just gone and done, you can do it and you can add yourself some glitter and shine with color in it as well. So using it as a paint, a paintbrush. But you want to be careful. You don't want to be too heavy handed with it because it will start to bleed. So just take your time. I'm not actually squeezing this. There we go. I'll just do the leaves. Because there's no actual stamp for for colouring in these little petals, these little leaves, which is why I've used the the brush. There we go. So that's good. I am now going to move over and do the petal parts here, the the actual flowers. lovely lipstick but again I'll do that in a second generation uh, yeah second generation so I'm just stamping off and then I'm just gonna over the top of it it's not a perfect fit but it's not designed to be a perfect fit it's designed to to kind of be messy and just artistic just yeah, there's no rules to it, just out of the line colouring, just give you a splodge of colour. So it, it means it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Hi, Jana. There we go. So that's those bits right there for you. There we go. Hi there. Oh, I can't see anyone's comments coming in. So that's that. Um, good. So I'm actually done with that stamp set for the moment. So what I now need to do is I now need to do a bit of die cutting. So I have brought the die cutting machine over with me. And we're going to use the coordinating dies. Which go with us. So we're going to use the, the perfume bottle and we're going to use the flower ones as well. I may have to do this in several runs. It all depends on how well I can... Um, Get these to sit on the magnetic platform. I can always stack up them for you. Let's see how we go. It is so cute, this one. And you can make a gift bag. Yes. So you can make a nice little card and coordinate it and a, go, and a gift bag to put some little sweets in, chocolates, which would be nice. You can even use the gift bag to actually pop these, some note cards in, because they do actually come with a sweet, comes with a, some really cute little note cards as well. You can make flower pots out of the gift bag die. <laughs> Oops. Loads of ideas. So we're going to be playing with that very soon. It's really weird because I, I would normally stand over the big shot machine a little bit more and die cut. So I think I've lined that one correctly. All right. Might have been a little bit off, but that's, that's fine. Big. It slipped as I um, as I did it. But that's. That's fine. It's 
There we go. So die cutting as well for you. Linda, I think Linda's just put a comment on, send something to our Facebook account saying she can't comment for some reason, but she's watching. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Another, well, actually I do need to do another bit of die cutting as well. Inside, inside these, I've got some really nice banners. Okay, some, some suitable for, um, for, yeah, well, for putting your sentiments on. And I forget that these are all in these lovely dies. Um, and you can actually get some different shape banners. Um, so I'm using that. So I'm just going to run it through again. And I'm just going to now just cut this one out straight away. And then I'll stamp afterwards. So you can see this one here is giving us a nice little banner and it's a nice shape and it's a stitched edge shape as well, which I think is lovely. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, nice. So I'm just going to pop these back before they vanish. So you can see the die is in there for, um, for creating the gift bag. You've got the buttons. It's, it's great. Um, and so you've got the lipstick and the shoe dies there as well. Lovely. So good. All right. So we are going to do a bit of construction. I'm going to go back and I'm just going to grab the family party stamp set here. And we're just going to go and we're going to make a happy birthday. Cards. So happy birthday there. Hi, Gian. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I have got the sentiment there. Now, I'm you're getting, just dropping everything. I am aren't dropping you? everything. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the pretty peacock to stamp in because it's not black, but it's a dark color anyway. I'm gonna go try and set myself a challenge and not use black <laughs> as much. <laughs> I'm going to try and use the colours a bit more for stamping sentiments out. So I'm going to just pick up my birthday and I'm going to stamp this first. That's just the way I did it earlier on. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit closer to me. I think you can still see that down there. That's good. And I'm just going to stamp that over like that. Sorry, I'm just dancing. So, Jan, hi, hi guys and kitties. Yes, it's um, yeah. I think it's definitely is one of the. Uh, it's a lovely paper. We like it. You weren't gonna get it initially because of all <laughs> no. the handbags and lipsticks and stuff, but the florals on the other side and the uh, stripes yeah. is really nice. Try and use the other sides of your papers a bit more. Um, Oh, should I go off piece and go a happy birthday and do that in the red? Um. Happy lipstick. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go slightly different. So I'm using the lovely lipstick, which is going to coordinate lovely perfectly with this paper. So I'm doing the happy there. And that's going to sit over like so. I'll bring it up in a moment. I am slightly off camera. That's it. There we go. So we've got a two-tone stamp in. So my challenge to myself, try not to use black as much. Try not to use white cardstock as much, even though I have used it, but I could have used I could have used it as a um a coloured card. So yeah, there's my little challenge for myself. I challenge you to do the same. Show us your makes without colour. With without blacks and whites. That's hard. That is hard. 
I think definitely with your sentiments. Try to use colours for your sentiments a little bit more. I think black just seems to be your go-to colour for doing sentiments, but you can always find, like, say, I've, just by doing it in the Pretty Peacock, it's still a dark colour and it stands out, but that, but you can see that it's not black and then it will coordinate with the other things on the paper as well. So just, there's a challenge for you. All right, um, with the set, let's bring this out. It also comes with the... The sweet. The sweet. Also, you can purchase these lovely tassels as well. So the best dressed tassels. So I'm actually going to use one of these as well. And I'm going to use the petal pink tassel again. Or I might see whether or not I might go with a larger one. Will you just read my mind and doing with the larger one as well? The darker yeah, one. Yeah, the darker one. Because of the contrast. I think doing that will blend in too much with it. So if we go with a pretty peacock one, because I've used pretty peacock in the sentiment, it all ties it all together. So, I probably will need some glue dots. So that's gonna go around here and I'm just gonna build this up and I'm just going to do some bits and bobs like that and then that's gonna go round there. Oh. And then that's gonna sit over the top of it, okay? So there we go, that's that. But I figured on the first one, I thought to myself, you know what? The paper is quite strong and may detract a little bit from the actual images. So after talking to Jay, I said, what can we do? Grab yourself some vellum, all right? So I'm gonna just cut myself this vellum down a fraction. So if your paper is a little bit too, too intense, maybe just grab yourself, so get yourself some vellum. Just need to take off, because this is a, a scrap which we've been using. Um, it's got score lines in it. I think this must have been something which Jay must have been using at some point. Yep, it was. No, I'm gonna leave those two score lines in one side. Yeah. Have we got any more vellum if I take it down too small? We've got we some have, more. We have got yeah. some, have we? I'm just going to take it down a fraction more. I'm going to take it down to seven centimetres to take that one off. And then that's going to come down to... Do it on the score line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then, that's going to then sit over the top of that. So it will just act as a bit of a... Go up a bit, as in your card. That's it. It will just act as a little bit of a diffuser. Um, so you can still do this here, so hopefully make things pop just that fraction more. So I know that, especially around this part here, that's where my perfume is gonna go. So if I grab myself some glue dots. Thank you very much. Grab myself some glue dots, and I knew it was around about here. So this is going to give me a permanent stick. So I know I'm now just going to centralise this. Where I need it to be. There we go. And that's just going to sit over the top like that. So I can now stick this down with some, well, I can go with some glue dots if I want to on this one, um, just to give me, like I say, an instant stick. But what I would probably do around that as well, because it's on vellum, it will take a little bit more time just to dry up. So a bit of glue, a glue dot to give you an instant, instant adhesion. And then pop some glue around it, which then make it more permanent as the um as it, as it dries. dries. So there's a little tip for you. So glue dots will make that stick straight away on the vellum. And 
and I should have done that actually on the glue, so on the vellum at the back there. So I'm just gonna just squidge a bit down the back behind it, just so that, that makes that more permanent as well. No. Okay, we'll sit up there. <laughs> Tommy's trying to get on. Tommy wants a bit of the action. Oh, can you hear outside? Yeah, sorry. Um, it's, it's always the way. As soon as you start doing a video, you get loud. They start creating noise outside, if that's what you can do here. So that's on that. I am going to grab the this one here and again a little bit of glue is going to go on the on the back here and before again before it sticks down permanently I'm just going to ease up that part there and I'm just going to slide slide that in underneath that perfume bottle I'm going to grab myself some dimensionals did I get those out I think actually yeah yep, there we go there they are I'm going to use mini dimensionals. And I'm just going to stick that up on this flower up here. So let's use a couple of those. Let's get that nice and stuck. <laughs> so, how's everyone's day been? Have you had a nice day today? Or are you having a nice day? Should I say some of you are probably just starting your days? And that's going to go up there. All right, so with the tassel, okay, I'm going to prep these two bits here. So I'm going to pop dimensional there, dimensional in the middle, and a dimensional on the outer. So I'm just going to leave that to one side. Grab my glue dots again. And I'm just going to pop that. Let's have a little look. So I'm going to pop a glue dot about there. Okay, just going to fan this out a little bit and that's just going to go in like that. And then, because I'll pop a dimensional in the middle part here as well, then that's only going to stick into it. You don't want to go too high because it's quite bulky at the top here on these tassels. So you want to make sure if you're sticking that something over the top of it, it's in the middle part here. And then that's going to go over like that. It then doesn't, the, the dimensionals will stick to the tassels and hold those in place. And there we go. There is... You can see, and it's just diffused it ever so slightly on that background. I'm not I'm happy with this foot bit flapping around, which is fine, which is good. Another thing you could do as well is you could use the rectangle stitch dies as well, which would work quite nicely with that potentially. And then that would at least give that a nice edging to that one as well, which would also be quite pretty. So there we go. That's that card. So I'm going to do another card for you in a second. So there was my original one. And then you can see the second one there as well with using the vellum part as a as a diffuser. So what do you think? Do you like another way of using up the design series paper? I actually, I really like this color combination on this one here as well. So um, yeah, the pretty peacock, the mint macaron and the purple posy, I think work really well with each other. And this one, you've got lovely lipstick, pretty, um, gone blank. What color is it? Petal pink. Petal pink and purple posy on there which is really, really pretty.
So there we go, that's that one. So I'm just going to do a second card now for you. So and this one was inspired by something um, that we did a card. I don't know if you've, you may have seen it. There's a video for it already on here, which was my never ending card, which we did. Um, a never ending card on one piece of cardstock as well. Um, so if you want to learn how to do that, a never ending card, then that's on, on, on the YouTube. And there were some bits on there which we had some squares. Some squares on the on there which um which we had for the panels. Okay, and I was I was going through the packet today and thought and said oh, there's gonna be a way I must be able to use that somehow. So I'm gonna be using the purple posy cardstock. Again, I'm using Whisper White card base here. So, and I've cut this down to size. I just need to trim her Oops. there. There you go. Thank you. So, and I'm just going to use the trimmer. So, this has been cut to, I just want this just as a ruler. Um, so, I've cut this at the moment to nine and a half by 13 and a half centimeters. I will make it a little bit smaller in a second. Um, but I, I, initially, I want to want it to be slightly bigger and then I'll cut it down afterwards. I'm also going to be using the stitched shape dies as well. So on the stitched shape dies you get oval circles and squares and I'm going to be using one of the squares because I realised that when I did it this is actually a perfect size for this. Once it goes through the Big Shot machine it is going to cut out perfectly. So I've already gone ahead and I've done all of these. So I've used the squares. So these squares measure at... Can I have a ruler or the trimmer? <coughs> so initially these squares measure at four and a half squared. Okay. And that's the, that's probably the smallest you can make those squares if you wanted it, if you just want to not get it hardy anyway. So four and a half square, and you'll get a little bit of wastage as you go round. And what that will give you is what will give you a nice square there, as you can see, which has got a nice stitched shape edge to it. So I've done that six times on, on coordinating colours. So I had them, and I had one, that one. And then I had... Hi, this one here. All right. So what I decided to do was let's just alternate these around. This is going to be a real simple card for you, but it's another way of using up your designer series paper or use make it, making the most out of card, your paper to make it the feature. It's it's lovely. You just need a few embellishments with it. So that's where you can then invest in like these, your tassels. It's where you can invest in your dies and then do some different shape rather than just being a square or a rectangle. Do some fancy die cutting with some things and that's where that comes in handy. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and just stick these down in a grid format. And so I've just alternated it around. So I'm, first of all, I'm just gonna work in this top part and get the border which I want. And then I'm then going to then cut it down at the bottom. And I'll tell you what that is once I cut it down. So I'd like to try and keep the same, same thickness border as we go around throughout all of it. So the good thing with wet glue, you have a tiny bit of wiggle room. We like wiggle room. All right, and I'm going to do that for all six. Ah. <laughs> Jay, you're being very, very controlled. <laughs> wasn't on camera, I think Tom and Jay would be swearing right now. Never. Never. I'm a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Tom is a good boy, sometimes. Only sometimes. So 
There we go. Okay, just take the trimmer again, please. Here you go. I'll just get that out of the way. It probably would be easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I'm just going to cut that down to nine centimeters. And that's just taking that part off. So the piece of paper which I needed, I had that at 13 and a half by nine was the piece which you needed. So you can cut that down you, 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 straight away. I can finish, you finish with that now. Um, you can cut that down straight away and then line it up inside. All right. So that's just going to go inside my card base like that. Up and down. Yeah, is Tom is very agitated today. I don't know what's wrong with him. So there we go. That's just going to go and sit in like that. All right, so that's good. So that's used up those off cuts. And then what you're gonna do is I am going to grab this part over here again. And I'm gonna grab the dies. And I'm gonna use this part right here. Now it's kind of like a little bit of a pocket. If you can use it for a pocket on the actual um, handbag, but I'm gonna use it as a, just as a banner. Bring the big shot in once again. And we're just gonna cut this out first and then I'll do the stamping afterwards. Uh, so again, these little banners are perfect for using with the family party stamp set as well. Um, because the sentiments are a perfect size to fit in these little ones. And because they're individual, you can then personalize it to whatever you want. Which is what's it, which is what's great. And so you can see there. And that's it. Right there. So it's a really nice little banner. So it can go up, it can go down, it's it's really, really pretty. Family party. So on this one, because it's, it's uh, again, it's a girly card. So I'm going to go on this one here to a wonderful or to a special. I'm not going to go to a special. I'm going to go to a wonderful. We can go, you're the best. So it doesn't even have to be a birthday card. It can just be just anything just to say, you're great. Thank you. You're the best. So but we're just going to go to a wonderful and let's do that in two tone again here. So I'm going to do the, to a wonderful is going to be in a lovely lipstick. I would say to a wonderful mother now which I have got a wonderful mother and, and she she is watching but if I do that I can't give it to her because she's seen it <laughs> and I've only got one mother so um it's uh, it's really difficult mum turn off <laughs> turn off don't see the finished card <laughs> Um, so we will go, I'm going to go with, um, to a wonderful sister. Jay has got two sisters, so I'm sure this can go to one of them at one point. And I haven't seen them pop on, so, um, if they are here, hello. If they're not here, then this can go to them. 
right? And we're just doing the sister here. In, and obviously, and I've got a sister as well, but um, so it could always go to her, but her birthday's not until February of next year. So, but I can just give it to her at any time of the year, I suppose. Depends if I'm being kind. There we go. And you know what? I just smudged that at the very last moment. I smudged that. So I'm gonna go. Here's one I did earlier on. I, I as I took the as I took the sentiment the sentiment off. I just made I just slipped ever so slightly. So I've got a little bit of a halo on the SI. So, but that's not a problem. I have got another one, and it is only a little bit of paper. So if you do make a mistake, don't worry about it. Just crack on and grab another bit of paper. See, we all make mistakes. There we go. So I bring the card back in over here. And all I'm pretty much gonna do on this one is I'm just gonna use the tassels again and I'm just gonna just have that around over here. So this is me nearly coming to an end now, actually. I'm actually nearly done with my second card, so wow. um, I don't think Jay hasn't got anything planned for you this evening because it was me doing the, I've done the two cards, so you've got a night off of Jay. You just have me. Lucky you, eh? <laughs> well, that depends. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use the, again, we don't waste anything, so I'm just gonna snip these, the end parts, these dimensionals off, and then we'll use these on here. Yeah, I'm trying to work out double wonder with six by six, but it's not working. Is it not working? All right, so I'm just going to grab myself a glue dot. I'm going to pop the glue dot on the um, on the end part there this time. And that's just going to go... around there. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Um, how should I do it in? Um, I was going to colour the end of the tassels, Jay. What colour? A bit um, of. Don't want it too the, overpowering. The peacock? Yeah. Or. <clears throat> petal pink. Let's go petal pink first. All right. So I've just taken that off. I've just. I just wanted to show you something. So these tassels are great. So Jay's just going to grab me a blend. That's a dark. And if you grab yourself a blends then what you can do you can just stroke the end of them with a blends can I have the light one as well please Jay? that's fine it might just So I don't want to get rid of all of the white because I could have just used one of the ones which are already coloured. Um, but I'm just going to now just... So I'm using the light and the dark here. The reason I'm using the light is so I can go a little bit harder and it just kind of might just blend the, the harsh line in a little bit. So if you've got these tassels, this is... So that was the light and the dark of the petal pink blends. All right, so let's bring that back. The glue dot's still in place. Fan my tassels and stick that over like so. Grab my sentiment. Thank you, Mandy. And 
this is it, the last part now. So like I say, this is a real simple card, but again, it's just using up your, your paper and using two different types of paper here. So this is a bit of a double wonder. And then that's just gonna sit over the top, like so, like that. And there we go. No, I don't want to add anything in. Can I add any? See, I'm, I'm, I'm turning into dry. I'm trying to use up all of the scraps. Is there anything which can go in like so? Just to say different down there. Yeah, you know what, I like it. There we go. So there is my second card. using the Best Dress Designer Series paper. So there's my first one. I'll see it's just, which is there, which I've done. Okay. I will probably, I probably will need to get some diamond, some element, um, some embellishments. Could you actually try and find me some embellishments, Jay, please? So that I can um, stick them over here so I can get a bit of glue underneath it. So if you do have these problems here with the, what's those nice ones there, the flowery ones? Because there's a pink one in there, isn't there? Yeah. And a clear one. So we've got these ones here, which are quite nice, which is the frosted flowers. Because I've got flowers on here as well, these might work quite nicely. If you've got a bit of, um, if you lose some vellum, and obviously you, you struggle to stick it down, because if I put glue behind this, then it's going to then, it's gonna show up. So you need to be able to hide it. And I don't like that flapping around like so. So you get these, uh, Jay first of all initially gave me these sequins. Um, the, adhesive, the Gingham Gala adhesive back sequins, which are really, really nice. But I just saw these in there as well. And these might be quite pretty because they're very similar. So they've got some clear ones in there. You've got some pink ones in there and you've got the purple. So like you're, I'm not sure any exact colors on these. It's one thing it doesn't tell me on the packet, but they're very, they're very similar to that. So I figure maybe just one up the top here, or yeah, you know what? I'm going to use the purple. I quite like it. And what I need to do then is I need to kind of like work out where I want to pop these. And then I then need to then think about the glue placement underneath. So I'm going to stick that there. Don't stick down too hard to start off with. I just kind of rest them on top and once I'm happy, I can then stick down permanently. So that one can go on last. All right, so I'm happy with that position. So I'm gonna stick them down and then I'm gonna grab myself a little, all right, I can grab myself a glue dot actually. I can now think about underneath these, I can then stick a glue dot underneath that and down and one more glue dot here. And go like that. So that now sticks those bits down and then we have one more and that's just gonna come out stick on the ends like that. 
there we go. So we've just added some of the, uh, added some embellishments on there and that's now gonna stick that down. Yes, love it, chop it to the um, Kayla. So yes, the lovely Kylie Batucci's little saying there, love it, chop it. So yes, if you've got your um, designer no series paper. No paper left behind. No paper left behind, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know what, if you do have paper left behind, you still use it throughout the year because Jay's actually playing around at the moment with with something. Um, and instead of chopping into our current designer series paper, which coordinates with everything which we've got, we use the old ones and we use that as templates. So don't get, don't think to oh, I can't use it anymore. It can still be quite handy for for helping out with designing. And then that way, if you make a mistake, you haven't used your current stuff um, to and wasted anything. Um, and the same thing as well with your retiring cardstock. So, like, we've got all of the in kind of like lovely lipstick, Grapefruit Grove. If you've got cardstock of that left behind, and you can see if it doesn't coordinate with the other colours at the moment, still use it because I'm just going to give you a... I'm not going to show you, but I've been using... This is Tempting Turquoise. Yes from a couple of years ago. But I've been playing around with a fancy fold and um, and I got that out. Benefit of that is that it's gonna be the same thickness as the card which you use. So when you come to actually designing your proper card with the Stampin' Up card stock, it will be the same type of weight, thickness. So everything should work. Yeah. Little tip for you. There we go. So what do you think of my two cards? So that's good. So we're going to show you a little bit of a sneak peek in a moment. So stay tuned. Jay's going to show you some stuff oh, yes. which he done in a moment. And we're going to give you a quick sneak peek of what we're going to be doing on Wednesday this week as well. So, but there we go. So there's my two cards. I'm actually really, really it's like really this nice one here as well. One. And it's yeah. really simple. And that two-tone of the, just getting your blends out and just colouring in the end there, I think is really pretty. And I think that one there is quite nice as well. Very nice. Lovely. So let's show you. So I'm going to be doing throughout the week. <laughs> is, this is because I wouldn't let Barry eat the Kit Kat bar. No, I've already eaten two, though. Have you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's two left over. So we're going to be making a um, lovely little, going to show you how to make this lovely little gift bag. Um, you can see that there little pocket. So that's what we're going to be showing you how to make on Wednesday of this week. So tune in for that one. And Jay's going to give you a sneak peek now of some cards which he's done. Oh, he wants me to flip it round for this we'll one. We'll flip it round because we're nearly over. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I've just been playing around with 6x6 DSP. Uh, and I managed to get one, two, three, four, maybe six cards out of two six by six so we'll see how it worked out because i need to see if i can do the pdf and cut lines for that yeah. but for tomorrow the stamp review crew is hopping and have a look at the projects and inspirations that we have i do have a sneak peek for you <clears throat> excuse me painted puppies really quickly there uh, that is done with stamping blends markers and I did three cards. You can see the third one up there, but this is the second one as, as well. As well as Tommy. As well as Tommy. I've just seen. Tommy's been That's very. Me. Oh, no, it is no, Tommy. Tommy, you can yeah. see there, he hasn't decided. He's decided to perch himself right in the very background this time. That's, right. what, he, that's what he keep coming back up and down, up and down, and then trying to um, jump onto the computer desk. So that's why I'm always like, Tommy. <laughs> but yeah, so those two will be on the blog uh, later on tonight in five hours' time, I believe. Uh, and plus another one as well. Yes. I think, yeah, and I think your comments just come through, come through. Is there? Yeah. Tommy is there. Um, yeah, I think he's a bit stroppy. I don't know. He's, 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 he's been up and down. Yeah, he's a bit agitated today. Maybe we haven't spent, paid any attention to him, so he's been <laughs> naughty. Been. So there we go. So one two. and two. They're lovely. Lovely. Great use of the SBs. Yes. You use your papers. All right. I think that's us done. Yes. And yeah, tune in Wednesday for that one. And I'll see if I can do <laughs> he's, something. He's like, where's Waldo? <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> we should do that each week. And where's Tommy? <laughs> well, we'll hide him around the room. Yeah. So good. All right. So what were you going to say there before I interrupted you? Yeah. Uh, tune in on Wednesday uh, on our Facebook 
page for the life of that gift bag as well don't forget if you haven't done so already give us a thumbs up uh, just to support our channel and subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed this video cool excellent thanks very much for watching thank you see you later bye. thanks for now bye How do I end? That one? <laughs>